today we're going to make vegan spanakopita without using anything artificial, no hydrogenated fat to make the crust or no um, artificial cheese. So, you said that's impossible, I'll say just wait and watch. So first what I do, uh, you can buy frozen spinach or fresh spinach, but then I blanch them if you use fresh spinach or I defrost if you use frozen spinach. And then you squeeze all the excess water because you don't want your spanakopita to be uh, runny or you don't want the crust to be moist. You want it to be moist in flavor but not with water. So that's our spinach. I used this time I used frozen one and I just let it thaw and then I squeeze the extra water. Then this is a red onion. I just sauteed them in olive oil and then I'm going to add the spinach to it. We're making basically the stuffing for the spanakopita. Okay, for cheese, uh, one of the video on the YouTube in my channels to show you how to broil, how to grill tofu. But for flavor for the spanakopita, or what I made for marinade, so just basically look at the uh, YouTube. But for marination, I used olive oil, oregano, thyme, rosemary, uh, to just to give it the and a um, little bit of lemon juice, salt to give it the the flavor. It, taste almost like feta cheese. When you broil it, you get this nice texture. See, it's something you can bite onto it, something you have flavor. If you use uh, raw tofu, basically it has no flavor, it's a black flavor, and it just go, uh, it adds to the blandness of spinach. But at this stage, the way, if you do it the way we showed you before, you have a nice texture, you have a nice bite, and you get the flavor of feta cheese in your spanakopita. So all what you need to do is to break, break them. Two to put them on the top. And as you see at this stage, because the way we show you did the tofu doesn't break, it stays nice intact. And now I just put it in to the pan the one I'm going to make my bake my spana cupita in so be this on top Some lemon zest, ginger and lemon and lemon zest are one of my favorite seasoning for anything. So that's why they are common in my dishes. Okay, we don't want to waste these. Now the cha more challenging part. So we achieved the feta cheese. Now we're going to do the crust. It's going to be vegan, but nice and moist and crispy. So now we're going to make the vegan crust for the vegan spanakopita. We have about one cup of flour and about one teaspoon cornstarch, a little bit of salt, and then we're just going to add water and mix it until we have a nice dough. So we have the dough, sticky dough but it's nicely mixed. Take your hand, dip them in olive oil, put on a flat surface, take your dough, and now you keep dipping your hand in the olive oil. What basically we're doing, we're incorporating the olive oil into the crust, so we can make fl flaky crust, which we want. Now you lift it and you add it, put it on top of your spanakopita, I mean the spinach basically, it's not pita yet, the, the spinach stuffing. If you have 
some opening, just stretch it, it's a door. Okay, at this stage, don't cut it, bake it for about 10 minutes, then cut it. So we'll put it in, we're going to put it in the oven, 30, 30, no. So we're going to put it in a 3095 degree oven for about five to seven minutes. Cut it and then put it back to get golden. Okay, you can do it only this way or you can do another dough and put it on top of it. Put sprinkle with some cornstarch and put another layer on top and three layers on top. I like it this way, it's more light. Anyway. We're going to be in the oven now. I baked it in my oven for uh, on 385 for about seven minutes. See, now I'm able to cut the crust. Of course, you can make bigger tray and then bigger dough. But just as now you got the idea. Now you have a nice crust, able to cut, it won't shrink back. And then we'll put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes or until it's golden. So after we baked it again, so we took it, we baked it for seven minutes, took it out, cut it, baked it again for about, in my oven it took about exactly 15 minutes. So you check your oven because you, can, you want it to be golden but not burned. And as you see you have a nice dough, nice texture, a little bit flaky, smells great. And we'll take a bite. hot but tastes even better.